Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can make this fillable form checklist in Word. So this is a digital form that you can protect so that your user just simply has to check boxes, click on drop downs or they have some text to fill out that will only be a certain amount of characters. So let's open a new document. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my rulers here and change my margins. If you can't see rulers, go to view, check rulers, go down to the bottom here, hover between the white and gray section, click and just pull down your margin just to give us a little bit of extra space. Then go to insert table, click on the drop down and select insert table. And for this, I'm going to select three columns and 22 rows and click OK. So now I'm just going to adjust my columns. I'm going to click on the middle here and just drag that across. And again, click on this line here and drag across, maybe to about here. Then with my cursor in this top left column, I'm just going to press the return key a few times just to nudge the table down. Then I'm going to select this column here and I know you'll have to type in all of your text, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to paste some in. And because these are quite close together, I want to extend the height of my rows. So with the whole table selected, click on this top left square, go to layout and here in height, I'm going to select 0.9 and press enter. And also on the layout tab, I'm going to go over to this option here and click on center left, then deselect and I'm just going to move that table down. Now to insert your fillable section, you need to have the developer tab. If you can't see the developer tab, go to word, go to preferences, go to ribbon and toolbar, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see developer. Just make sure that's checked and click save. Then your developer tab should appear here. And if you click on developer, you'll have all of these options here. And we'll be looking at these options here. So for the checkboxes here, I just want to have a checkbox that you can click on digitally. So select your cell and go over to checkbox. And you can see it's inserted a checkbox. Now you can't copy and paste these. So just click in the next row, have your arrow key ready on your keyboard, click check box, hit the arrow key, check box and go all the way down to the bottom. Once you're happy, we can select the entire column and then we can go to layout and we can go to center align, make sure they're all centered, then go back to developer. And with these check boxes, you can currently see they're grayed out or they've got a gray shading. You can take the shading off by clicking here or you can keep it on. It's completely up to you. It may be more relevant for the text sections, but unfortunately you can only switch the shading on or off for all of it. So let's keep the shading on for now. The next thing you want to do is maybe put in a text section just to restrict people's ability to type more than this line. So select the cell, go to text box, and you can see we've got a little bit of gray here. Now just selecting that will allow anybody to type as much as possible, but if you want to restrict the characters, then go to options, and then in here it says maximum length, and then all you have to do, I'm gonna put in 20 characters, and click OK. That will just mean if you type more than 20 characters, it will simply stop typing. The next box you might want to select is a combo box, and this is a drop down box. So we can select combo box here, and then again, select options. Now in here, you can put as many options as possible. So let's just do some finances. Once you've put your option in the top here, just select plus. Now, if I leave it like this, the thousand pound one at the top here will be the option that you'll see in the top of this box. But you might want to give your user a little bit more information about what they need to do. So for my title, I'm going to select click here and then press add. But it's currently at the bottom of this list and I need it at the top to become the title. So use this arrow key to click and send it to the top here. Then just go down to bookmark and here we're just going to type in budget and click OK. Now the only way this is going to work is by selecting this protect form icon. So if you click on it, you can see everything now is greyed out. I can't make any changes to my form. So if I click anywhere in here, it won't allow me to edit any of this. 
the text you'll still be able to type and if you click you can see the little blue box come up and that means people can type now if you click on here you can see the box will appear sometimes when you click off there is a little arrow that will appear but that seems to be a bit hit and miss as, as to whether that arrow appears or not sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't there we go it's appeared there but that as you know doesn't always appear for the check boxes you just click in the check boxes sometimes it takes two or three clicks and then again to click off them if you want to delete any of this just simply select it all go to the format protect format icon make sure it's switched back on you just select it and press the delete key so I'm going to put in the titles now and not all of you may want to know about that so I'm going to go ahead now and just insert some titles so go to insert shapes click on the drop down I'm going to select a rectangle click and drag out a rectangle and to copy and paste it I'm just going to select it hold down my alt or option key click and drag move that down to the bottom and then I'm going to go to insert shapes click on the drop down and I'm going to select this rounded rectangle click and drag with this one I'm just going to select this little yellow box click and drag it to the right which will round off the two ends of this box and then I'm going to go to insert text box click on the drop down and select draw text box so the first text box I'm going to put in the title here select it all go to the home tab I'm going to click center and then this increase font size tool here there we go now the shapes selected so I'm going to go to shape format click on this drop down to select no outline because it does come with an outline color shape fill no fill and go to the home tab select the font color and I'm going to select white just move that down you can you use your arrow keys for this to ensure this title is perfectly centered just make sure you've centered it here and then go to shape format go to align click on the drop down and select align to center and then for this one I'm just going to copy and paste it again there we go and then I'm just going to make this one a little bit smaller perfect now I'm going to insert some text so I'm going to select this text box here click your alt or option key on your keyboard drag it down double click inside press command or control a to select all of the text go to home I'm going to click on the drop down and change it to sentence case then I'm going to go to this icon here and reduce the size of it I'm going to change the text to description then I'm just going to reduce the size of that text box then I'm going to use my arrow key just to move that up one inside this box then to select them both I'm going to hold down my command or control key and select them both go to shape format align align to center perfect now I'm just going to select the text box once again hold down my alt or option key click and drag and then in this text box I'm going to write the word notes and then once again I'm going to reduce the size of that text box select the other box holding down your command or control key go to shape format align align to center once you're happy select group so that that's now one element do the same here select them both holding down the command or control key select group and then just to make sure those two are lined up there hold down the command or control key align align to middle another quick adjustment I'm going to do I'm just going to move the table down and just bring that one up and then just to give a little bit more interest to the table I'm going to select it all go to table design go over to borders click on the drop down and I'm just going to take out the left and the right border and then deselect and then you can see the final product so once you're happy with it all don't forget to go to the developer tab and select protect form and once you've protected it you can go ahead and send it so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day